back to my channel. It's Tati here. For today's video, we are making our Valentine's Day soap. I am going to be making some Valentine's Day gift sets. I am only making 15. So, it's a... Um, I'm making more than 15 of these soaps. But I'm only making 15 gift sets, and the gift sets are going to include a bath bomb, a soap bar, and um, a wax milk. <laughs> and they're all going to be scented in the Love Spell dupe. It's a Victoria's Secret dupe. Um, it's similar, it's not the same, but... Um, our oils are at room temperature. Our la is a little hot still. It's not at room temperature at all. It's 121. 121 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm at a new angle today, you guys. So if you see my head pop in and out, I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out how can I record and y'all get a better view. Because the last soap video, I did not like the view at all. Anyhow, let's go ahead and start making our soap. So, the colors that we're going to be using today, I have a pink vibrance and we have pink vibrance and purple vibrance from Nurture Soap. Um, and of course, titanium dioxide from Nurture Soap as well. So, I'm hoping to do a drop swirl. Not a drop swirl. In the pot swirl. And so I hope this soap can be mostly, well, a good balance of white, purple, and pink. Um, the purple vibrance and the pink vibrance does have a little bit of shimmer to it. So, <gasps> Lord have mercy. Alright, just leave that in there. Y'all, I done put my spatula. Burping out, burping my stick blender, and that just helps get bubbles out. But I don't put my my spatula in my fragrance, so I'm running my last solution down the stick blender to avoid as many bubbles as I can. So I have discounted the oils in this soap a lot, about 20 ounces. I made 84 ounces of soap last time and it was just too much it was just way too much and so and so now I am at uh, 64 ounces of soap and I'm hoping this will fill up both of these two molds here without an issue so we shall see if not, one loaf may be for samples. And um, the other loaf will be, you know, for my gift sets. And I'm probably going to be able to do nine gift sets. But anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and stick blend on low. I just don't think we're at a light we are probably at a light trace so this will probably be a good time yeah we're definitely we're good here to go ahead and pour off I'm gonna go ahead and get another spatula these spatulas are from Walmart they're about a dollar and something a piece maybe two dollars and something a piece 
I needed something a little bit sturdier, so I just went on ahead and got them. I didn't feel like ordering any. The thinner spatulas are from Amazon. So, yes. We're going to stick blend some more in a minute. So, I'm going to go ahead and get these two bowls. And we're going to pour off a little bit. For some purple. Oops. A little bit for some pink. some purple a little bit for some pink and we got some white I think I'm gonna do majority white and just do some accents just because I don't know that's just what I want we could probably do a little bit yeah that's that should be good so I'm gonna go ahead and add my colorants and hopefully I don't forget my fragrance oil. <laughs> so we got our white. I'm hoping I made enough this time. We got a purple. These little containers are from Walmart. They are condiment containers. About a dollar and something a piece. These are kind of expensive, but I just felt like it's just easier for me and I don't have to waste like a lot of, you know, plastic and whatnot. So we got that. And we got our pink. I hope this is a better angle for you guys. Okay. Let's see if I can mix some of it up by hand. We're going to see about that titanium dioxide. I thought I made enough. Make sure y'all can still see. This is the purple. It is so pretty. And yes, they do have shimmer in it. But it's not like a whole bunch of shimmer. Um, This was my other... doesn't matter here's the pink oh I love pink y'all pink is my favorite color how pretty is that I'm hoping it comes out a little bit darker like the pink I put purple I put the same amount in each I do I don't know about this right here we're going to stick blend it and see about this white. Let's see. any fragrance in yet for some reason my, all my batches get thick very fast so I try to hold off on okay I have time to make it a little bit wider so that's what I'm gonna do more white and I'm gonna pour in not all of it because I didn't mix it in very very well 
because I'm in a rush. And we're gonna see how this down. Plus, you don't want to put too much titanium dioxide because it'll. Okay, so that's good for the white. It's a creamy color. Um, it doesn't have to. I didn't want it to be like completely white. But yeah, if you put too much titanium dioxide sometimes and you don't blend it really good, it starts to get very patchy. So. I try not to put a whole bunch, a whole bunch. So I'm gonna put that over there for one second. Cause I'm gonna give this a hand stir. I have a little bit of that didn't get colored. So try and get as much as that as possible. I think this is a cute color. Now I am going to well add my fragrance so and this fragrance has a low percentage rate so that's why it may seem like a little bit to you but it's really not it's a really strong fragrance so, and I'm hoping it doesn't speed up my batch, and I feel like it might, but I really want to do uh, in the pot swirl this time. So I'm going to do a hand stir, and then I'm just going to do a little bit of a blend what in, the world? in each one with the stick blender. It's pretty loose at the moment, but these haven't been stick blended yet, so I'm not surprised. So a drop swirl is just when I pour each color into, I'm going to pour these two accent colors into this, into this white bucket here. So I'm going to just do... too thick to the point where it's just it's not the other colors aren't going to be able to get into it so I got to speed it up just a little bit okay a little bit of a splash over there to get some more of this off I just want to make sure the fragrance is stirred in really good and this, I mean, it really isn't a fast moving fragrance, but I don't want to take any chances because y'all know how my look is with these fragrances. Stand that up. Maybe. Do you want to stand up or no? Ugh. I'm trying to hurry up. I don't want my white to get thick. That's all I'm going to do. Because it's really not that much fragrance in there anyhow. I mean, that much batter. So, and that's really concerning me because I really needed to fill up these two modes. Okay. 
where's my white spoon see how thick it is oh my god okay we're gonna still see if we can do it quickly want to pour from high up okay and then we need our pink we're just going to pour in opposite corners, starting from high up. Okay. And then I'm just going to, I want to pour all of it. Save a little bit for the top. a whole bunch okay let's pour into our molds and see what we can get I really don't want to take a chance with the some people take a spoon and swirl it a little bit I'm not even gonna do that I'm just gonna pour all right maybe I will just to try it this time okay that's it that's it that's all I don't want it muddy Okay, and we pour. Ooh. Okay. Stop. Okay, I wanted to get some color over here. I'm gonna go ahead and pour in this mode because I can always make smaller bars. So, let's see. Okay. Just swirling it a little bit more. And then we're gonna pour on this side. And then we're gonna pour more on this side. And I know I have enough. Let's see. Let's see. I don't wanna mess up the design. So, I'm just going to try to move it a little bit, but it's really hard to only move it a little bit. I just don't want to mix in the colors, if you see what I'm saying. Let's see. I think I may have made enough, just enough to fill up both of the molds. Maybe. Okay, let's put a little bit more over here, more white, and then y'all, don't mind me, I am a clumsy soap maker, okay, whoa, 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 I am very clumsy, because I get everything gets in my way. All right, first let's bang down these molds. I think I banged it down good that time. And I'm just going to try and get a good amount of this soap out. Y'all probably cannot see me, and I apologize. I just want to 
scrape as much stuff as I can out of here. And it just smells so good, you guys. It's, it's citrusy, but, but with a little bit of floral and a little bit of sweetness. And it just smells divine. It smells so wonderful. This is a soap to die for. Literally. Okay. We still have soap here. Just a Well, we have a lot. <laughs> but, um... I'm just going to try to do, I don't know what I'm going to do. I want to do a design with it. Um, but I'm just going to do just a little, a little bit here. And a little bit here. It doesn't have to be perfect. I just want to get it on top of it because I want the tops to have, you know, a little bit of color, not just white. Y'all, this soap smells so good. Oh my gosh. Like, I'm in love. I cannot wait until this is. I, I'm so glad this made just the right amount of soap, y'all. Oh my god. I am going to save a bar. For me and my family. For sure. For sure. For sure. Alright. Here's what we have for the pink. I love this pink color. It's so Valentine's Day. Isn't it? Ugh. It has that little bit of a peach undertone. I love that color. I love all pinks. All shades of pinks. I love it. I hope y'all can see good. I know my arm is probably in the way. I'm always, something is always in my way. But I do hope, oh, let me check. Okay, I am still recording. <laughs> I was like, because sometimes my recording, my video, or camera will stop recording. So I have to check every now and again to see if it's recording. Because wouldn't that have been bad if it wasn't? Okay, with so all my soap dishes that can be moved. All right, so first off, okay, I don't know what I'm going to do. Something like this, maybe. And I'm probably just going to keep swirling and swirling. Because I want to get some of this white here. And it's really, it really is too thick to do a, um, hold on. I can't even do it. Okay. Okay, Todd. Okay. I see you. to get, the, get this. yeah so this is how I this is gonna be my tops so I'm just gonna swirl it like this to get some of that white into all of that pink and purple before I do that little swirly design there this one is gonna be, have a little bit more of a pink and purple I don't want to swirl it too much because it'll get muddy all right I didn't mean to do that. I was just trying to clean up the edges. So I'm going to beat it down a little bit more. So that it can. And as you can see it's still fluid. This is one of those. Ooh. 
one of those um, one of these this is one of the fragrances that do not um, accelerate and get thick very fast. I actually thought it was really thick and I'm so happy. I hope I achieve the swirl that I was looking for. I Now I didn't do a hanger swirl inside of it. So this is just going to be whatever happens happens and a hanger swirl is where you put something in it and you do like this to it and swirl it all around. I didn't do that so we're just going to see what happens. I hope it turns out good. I still have time to do it but I'm not even going to mess with it because I don't want to risk muddying it up so whatever I get I get and that's gonna be our Valentine's Day soap so you guys I hope I'm let's see if I can get a closer view so this is our Valentine's Day soap I hope you had fun watching this you guys um, the making part and I will see you guys back here for the cut see you then hey guys we're back here for the cut so this is the soap in low form. We are calling this Passion. This is our Passion Soap Bars in the Love Spell Dupe. I personally, before this, had never smelled the Love Spell fragrance. I have never smelled that before. And honestly, people rave about it. And honestly, it, it really is that good. I love it. But um, So I am using a cheese cutter. So if you can't afford a soap cutter or if it's just a hobby and you don't really want to, you know, invest in something that expensive right then, then a cheese cutter is really good. That's what I'm using. But guys, <laughs> I am actually editing this video in June. This video was made in January. So if I keep making soap, I will definitely just go ahead and invest in a soap cutter because it will save so much time but first here i am cutting off the end piece just to you know cut that piece off and just save it for a sample um i will also get two more samples out of this loaf and basically i just save it so when people order wax melts or whatever i can send them a sample a soap sample and they can try it and if they like it you know they'll come in order and I send samples with all of my orders but you guys I really hope you enjoyed this video like I always go MIA but I always come back and thank you guys for the loyal subscribers that always come back and watch my videos turn on post notification I can't even get it out <laughs> turn your post notifications own so that you will be notified when I upload I don't upload very often guys I am so busy I will do a life update soon but I do thank you guys so much I continuously get views I continuously get subscribers you guys we have 21k views on one of my hair videos y'all y'all made me go viral and I'm just so thankful and grateful I'm blessed really but um i owe it all to you guys i'm so glad y'all like this video i pray you like all of these videos that i post this is channel is basically just a life journey you come on a journey of my life um you know it started when i was in college i'm almost out of college now to now i'm having my own business so soon enough i'll be making teaching videos so <laughs> but I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed it. The soap bars came out wonderful. I'm going to be posting more videos. I have some videos recorded, guys. I just have to find time to edit. Right now, I'm, you know, it's crunch time. I'm testing soon to get my license, my teaching license. And so, and I'm also, you know, working full time and just trying to balance my personal life, business work in school so it's tough but when I have time I do always come back to YouTube because I love it so much and I hope you love my videos and my channel so 
anyhow, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, here is me cutting this last little end piece into two for samples. And then we're going to get it up close. And this will be the end of the video. If you made it to the end of this video, y'all are some loyal subscribers. Y'all are some true rider dies because this is a long video, guys. <laughs> anyhow, I will catch you guys in the next video i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will catch you guys in the next one